Well, you just never know what you're gonna find when you're walking through the Resident Activity Center. I happen to be coming through today and went past the Osprey Room and ran into Carol Mann of Sundial. And she is working on such an interesting project, I just really thought you should find out a little more about it. So Carol, tell me what you're working on. Yes, I'm working on a quilt, and actually maybe not a quilt, because technically a quilt needs three layers, but I do want to do this project. My dear mom, who was made all her own clothes because she needed to, um, and we had a reunion, so I'm just showing you Bob, who, my husband, with her, and then here are her daughters and moi is right there. She uh, had a good friend who lived in, who, who traveled to London and would bring her back these wonderful wool chalets, which are the big petals here. At um, about 1985, I made her a lap quilt so she could enjoy it, but now I have all these pieces from dresses that she wore and I have cut them up and still have a lot left. I have another project in mind. And I'm going to make a quilt for the daughter of this sister, Sister Margaret. She is married to a fellow who uh, grew up and um, lived in Afghanistan. And his nephew sent me this fabric from their country. So I think it's very fitting that it goes to his wife. Uh, she will enjoy all of the fabrics from her grandmother's dresses and then quilters have stashes and I have the stash of these greens. I like green so I took all the green fabric I could find that I thought would go and I made the leaves and I thought I've thought of this pattern for years and uh, Today, it's kind of coming to fruition because I've got the huge table in the quilting room and the quilters do meet every Friday and we would love to have more quilters come and join us. But today is a great quiet day to lay it out and see how it's going to look. Now, Carol, how long have you been quilting? When did you start? I made my first quilt when I was an early teenager during a presidential election year because I can remember on the television all this nonsense that was going on and I, my family was watching it and I needed something to do. So mom had some fabrics I could put together and I used flannel which she gave me for the batting and I still have the quilt and it's really funny. <laughs> That's amazing. You've got the very first quilt that you ever made. That's awesome. And has this been a hobby then that you've pursued your entire life since then? Absolutely, yeah. I was a teacher, but I stayed up late many a night to pursue my passion, which is fabrics and putting them together somehow and collecting them too. Um, I have quite a collection and for those of you who are interested in quilting and might like to try it, behind these doors is such a selection of fabric that we are, we would love for someone to start something with and all kinds of books and supplies and they're welcome to come on a Friday in the afternoon to this very room and um, see if they think they might enjoy quilting. Now, if someone were to come to a Friday afternoon quilt gathering, are there folks who would pass on this tradition and show them how to get started if they've never quilted before? Of course. <laughs> I could, I could great. name names. <laughs> no, but, uh, and then, you know, the magazines are so well put together that it's not a problem. And, and uh, the books, such a trove of books we have from quilters from many years past. And many quilters have been so kind to pass on their um, trove of fabrics to us that we've got a nice stash for other people to try this. Well, I just think this is amazing and it's even more special because it has the sentimental value of the fabrics that are going to connect your mom to her grandchildren and children beyond that. So it's really an amazing project and I appreciate you sharing it with us today. And next time you see it, if you get, you know, if I pursue, it might look completely different. I we would love to see that. I might decide to go a different direction, but so far so good with this. Well, thanks for sharing it with us today.
your dear thank you. 